Welcome to this DME on-demand tutorial for Advanced Determination of Medicare Coverage, or ADMC. The information given in this training is correct as of January 2023. The most current information related to this topic can be found on the Noridian DME website at the link listed on this slide. Several durable medical equipment, or DME, items are customized and are quite costly to purchase. Therefore, beneficiaries and suppliers can request an advanced determination of Medicare coverage, or ADMC. This is a voluntary program. Beneficiaries and suppliers are not required to submit ADMC requests in order to submit claims for items. Additionally, DME Medicare Administrative Contractors, or DME Max, may not require an ADMC request as a prerequisite for submitting a claim. An ADMC cannot be appealed. The following manual wheelchairs are eligible for ADMC. E1161 Manual Adult Size Wheelchair Includes Tilt and Space E1231 through E1234 Manual Pediatric Size Wheelchair Includes Tilt and Space K0005 Ultra Lightweight Wheelchair K0008 Custom Manual Wheelchair Base and K0009, Other Manual Wheelchair Base. K0009 may be used for codes with a date of service prior to June 1, 2013, which are listed on the PDAC Product Classification List. The following power wheelchairs are eligible for ADMC. A Group 5 Single Power Option or Multiple Power Options Wheelchair K0890 and K0891 and a Custom Motorized Power Wheelchair Base K0013. For beneficiaries residing in Jurisdiction A or Jurisdiction D, an ADMC request may be submitted to Noridian via fax or mail. The ADMC cover sheet can be found on Noridian's website for either Jurisdiction A or D. Documentation items to include for a manual wheelchair ADMC request include a standard written order, face-to-face -face evaluation, Licensed Certified Medical Professional Specialty Evaluation, Financial Attestation Statement, Evidence of a Rehabilitation Engineering and Assistive Technology Society of North America or RESNA Assistive Technology Professional ATP, and medical records pertaining to the medical necessity of the item being requested. Documentation items to include for a power wheelchair include a written order prior to delivery, a face-to-face -face evaluation, a LCMP specialty evaluation, and any other medical records pertaining to the medical necessity of the item being requested. Once a request is received, the DME MAC will determine if there is sufficient medical documentation that supports whether the item is reasonable and necessary. In addition, a review of the beneficiary's claims history will be conducted in order to determine whether any other reason exists to cause the claim to be denied, for instance, whether same or similar equipment has already been provided. The DME MAC will review the information to determine if a benefit category exists and if a statutory exclusion exists. Upon receipt of a request, 
the DME MAC will render an advanced determination of Medicare coverage within 30 calendar days. A decision will be provided to the requester, affirmative or negative, in writing. An approved ADMC decision will provide the supplier and the beneficiary assurance that the beneficiary, based on the information submitted with the request, will meet the medical necessity requirements Medicare has established for the item. An approved decision does not provide assurance that the beneficiary meets Medicare eligibility requirements, nor does it assure that any other Medicare requirements, Medicare Secondary Payee, MSP, have been met. Only upon submission of a complete claim can the DME MAC make a full and complete determination. An affirmative ADMC decision is valid for a period of six months from the date the decision is rendered. Oftentimes, beneficiaries who require customized DME are subject to rapid changes in medical condition. These changes may allow the need for a particular item, either because the beneficiary's condition improved or deteriorated. For this reason, the date the item was provided to the beneficiary cannot be more than six months after the date the ADMC decision was made. When a particular wheelchair base is eligible for ADMC, all wheelchair options and accessories ordered by the physician for that beneficiary along with the base HICSPIX code will be eligible for ADMC. A negative ADMC decision communicates to the supplier and the beneficiary that based on the information submitted with the request, the beneficiary does not meet the medical necessity requirements that Medicare has established for the item. The negative ADMC decision should indicate why the request was denied. Requests may be resubmitted once during a six month period for a negative ADMC decision if additional medical documentation is supplied. Call the supplier contact center for additional questions regarding an ADMC decision. Information related to the ADMC request process, links to educational resources, and fillable forms are found on the Noridian Preclaim webpage. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noridian website or YouTube channel.